Let's solve a very good problem statement this time using Excel VBA. There is a man who is holding some money. He can use this money to purchase Coke cans. Let's say he is holding 100 rupees and the price of Coke can is 10 rupees per can. So he can purchase 10 cans. Now the story doesn't end here. Let's say the man is also given an option that if he return 5 Coke cans, he can get uh, 1 filled Coke can. So the count may be like 5 or 6 or whatever count is given but the problem statement is we need to find a solution or we need to write uh, an algorithm which give us the number of filled coke cans a man can purchase from that money. So we are having cash in hand, we are having cost of the filled can and we know that uh, one filled can the man will be getting on exchange of few empty cans we know the count so three things we know so let us take uh, the first example if let's say the man is holding hundred or let's say thousand rupees and uh, the cost of one filled can is two rupees and he can get one filled can on exchange of five empty cans using this money he can directly get 500 filled coke cans now that's it money is not in his hand now but he can use the empty cans to get more cans so definitely he will be getting more than 500 cans so that count let's say is x now he can use this uh, these filled cans uh, once they are, they are empty he can reuse to purchase few more cans right so if all 500 uh, cans are empty and he can get one filled can on exchange of five empty cans so using 500 he can get 100 more filled cans but again he can reuse these 100 to get more x right so using this 100 he can get 20 and again x and using this 20 he can get 4 now he cannot purchase anymore because he can get only on the exchange of 5 but we have 4 remaining so the total cook cans he can purchase is 500 plus 100 plus 20 plus 4 the total is 624 the algorithm should return this value now you have noticed one thing that all these numbers were actually divisible let's say uh, the number of cans he is holding is 501 in that case one can would be remaining so that would be carry forward next time so we need to take care of another case let's uh, talk about the second example here uh, the man is holding thousand uh, rupees again cash and then uh, cost of one filled can is two rupees and uh, one filled can he can get on exchange of three empty cans this time so using thousand and two 500 straight away using the money but the rest of these are from the can from the exchange right so initially we are assuming that it is x but that would be 500 divided by 3 uh, if we divide 500 by 3 we are getting 166 point something right so when we divide when we multiply 166 with 3 what we are getting we are getting 498 that means still he is holding two more cans so we are keeping these two cans in carry because he can reuse these later so this is very important to understand that we reuse these components so next time 18 and then 2 carry and then it would be 20 next time and then out of 20 when he gets uh, when we divide it by 3 we are getting 6 and then 2 in carry and then uh, in the end uh, uh, we can get uh, two more cans but two carry forward will again go forward which we cannot uh, use so two are wasted actually and now w once we calculate the sum here it would be 500 plus 166 plus 56 plus 18 plus 6 plus 2 the total is 748 so we need to cater this case now let's write this algorithm we see here that what exactly we are doing here is we are first taking two things we are first of all uh, dividing this cash with the price of can so that is the number of cans which he can purchase using hard cash rest of the calculation is by reusing the empty cans so all this thing the entire thing will repeat until the can count is less than the exchange amount right 
So this logic will go in recursion and this is a flat calculation. So we need to take care here. Sub, let's say I'm calling this uh, procedure as extreme Excel. Right. And I create three variables. So I'm using the term uh, or a symbol or you can say a variable name A for this cash in hand because I'm calling this as amount and then cost of can I'm using C and then for exchange I'm using X so A, C and X so dim A as integer C as integer and X as integer right and let's say the output is OP which is also an integer right so output is nothing but it is a divided by c but a divided by c might be a fraction right but he cannot uh, purchase a can in fractions that should be an integral value so for example if he is having 101 rupees and price of one can is 10 rupees so he can purchase only 10 cans right the the uh, result would be 10 point something but he would can purchase only 10 cans so we need to round down this calculation so for that if i use worksheet function dot round down this comma zero so this will be giving me for, uh, the rounded down value the rest of the value would come with exchange let's say i call this function as uh, let's say e x c h right and for this exchange what all things do we need we need this amount and we need the exchange price that's it right and there is one more thing which we need that is carry forward or we can call this as balance okay so initially let's say the balance is zero i create another variable bal as integer and i pass on three variables here so this is the first variable which I'm passing on. Let's put this in a variable temp. So temp is this. So I'm passing temp comma. Second variable is exchange price. Uh, and then third variable is balance. All right. So once we have this, I'll be writing this function now. After this, we can simply display our output in a message box. Now the time is to write this uh, main logic or the main function which is doing all the calculation for um, purchasing all the cans using uh, the empty cans. So function exch, three variables are required. First is uh, the, the number of uh, uh, cans he is holding, right? So cans as integer comma um, price or cost as integer comma balance as integer okay so three variables now when we uh, we know that uh, this function should repeat until uh, the count is uh, less than the count of uh, exchange which is C uh, yes which is C here I, I'll, I'll use X again here so that there is no confusion and then this is balance right so before writing this function we need to uh, understand this that this function is basically for doing all the calculation related to exchanges and exchanges will be happening multiple times and that depends on the value right so this function need to call one inside other uh, as a recursion function so for recursion we need to always define an exit criteria and that exit criteria in this case would be that if number of cans is less than the exchange amount or exchange number of cans in that case it will be simply returning zero because it, it cannot uh, the person cannot purchase any more because he is not having enough cans to purchase more filled cans but if this is not true in that case he can do something 
Now what he can do is we'll be writing over here in this else block. So first of all, uh, like here we were uh, doing calculation, we were dividing uh, this 500 with the 3 and the next time we were dividing uh, 166 plus 2 divided by 3. That's why we got 56. Uh, so, so for that we need to add balance. We need to take care of balance always. Right. So we are using a variable temp which is equal to cans plus balance and divided by x. So I'm not uh, directly dividing cans with x. The reason is because we also have some balance. If the balance is zero, it will be counting it as zero. But if there is a balance, we need to add it, right? So if cans mod x is not zero, in that case, what what it should do in that case in that case balance is equal to there would be some balance cans mod x this would be the balance and then we would be returning the value which is equal to we are again using round function worksheet function dot round down now we already have the calculation temp and we also have a balance so we need not care about anything but we have the integral uh, value of the cans he can purchase and which he can purchase further using exchange of these cans further so we are again calling this function so that we can make uh, the purchase until he reaches to the last level and we need to pass on three values one is this value again second is the exchange price and third is balance so therefore we have calculated balance over here so second is x and third is balance so that's all now let's see when we run this what happens since we have not initialized these variables let us initialize them with some values uh, let's say 1000, 2 and 5, I take this case, so I here assign A is equal to 1000, C is equal to 2 and X is equal to 5. So 1000, 2 and 5, the output should be 624. Uh, something wrong, temp we have not defined. So temp as integer. So 624 is output. Next is 1000, 2 and 3, 748. So in this case, we missed something and therefore we are losing two cans. Now let's uh, figure out how to uh, uh, debug it and how to get to know where exactly is the issue so one thing was uh, we were missing balance as zero here we didn't initialize it we are passing it here so still the output is same so we can check here we, it is still returning 750 but as per our logic it should return 748 which is the right answer so there is something wrong in our logic we can see here uh, the value is initialized we are passing this value and if value goes here, we have 500, we have 3, and balance is 0. So can's count is less than x, so exchange is 0. But it uh, does not go here because it is still greater. And you can purchase more can's. So temp is nothing but can's plus balance. We need to incorporate uh, the balance here, which we have done. But at the very next step, we have made a mistake. We are not in uh, incorporating the balance part here. So it should be cans plus balance and when it is true in that case again here also cans plus balance mod x right. So let us uh, print uh, this in logs also. So debug dot print. Uh, I'm first of all printing filled cans 
equals and the value of filled cans is in this value temp and round it down and I'm converting this entire part into a string using CSTR and then I'm concatenating it with balance equals ampersand convert to string balance now let us see what happens we have the immediate window here so when it reaches here I am stopping it I'm running it again so all the values are assigned we got 500 3 and 0 so here temp is 500 by 3 500 plus 0 by 3 which is 166 point something and here 500 plus 0 divided by 3 is not 0 in that case balance is set to 2 so we have a balance of 2 because the multiplication was 498 so in the logs we are printing it that 166 filled cans he got and 2 cans he is still holding which he passed on to the next iteration so this is the total count 166 plus he returned uh, 166 x and balance so it goes here 166 3 with a balance next time when it reaches here now temp is 166 plus 2 this time so 168 divided by 3 which will give me uh, the exact multiple there is no balance now so it is not 0 therefore it does not go inside so balance I uh, should be zero here in this case so if we print here still the balance is two the reason is we have not uh, set back balance to zero so it is very important to reset the balance so else balance equals zero so we are now able to figure out the exact problems when we are debugging it so that is how we develop algorithm so now again 503 and balance of 0 it goes inside it checks all the conditions it prints 166 and 2 balance next time 166 2 balance 168 it should be exact multiple balance should be set to 0 and it prints 56 with no balance and then third time it is uh, having 56 3 and balance of 0 therefore it comes here 56 plus 0 by 3 uh, which is uh, 18 point something and it is holding some balance balance is 2 again so it prints that it has uh, 18 uh, filled cans and 2 balance again which he further passed on so passed on 18 3 and balance of 2 so in the next time uh, next iteration the calculation would be done on 20 so for 20 he would be again ba having a balance of 2 and six filled cans and then uh, using eight he would be again having uh, eight uh, two filled cans and balance of two now these two cans he cannot use he cannot uh, purchase any filled cans out of two because the minimum uh, number of cans required to purchase a filled can was three that that's why here is the exit criteria which comes into picture the number of cans is two but exchange price is three so simply exit we cannot purchase anymore so exchange would be zero now it moves out of all the previous uh, uh, functions which it was iterating through recursion and it prints the output as 748 so that's how we can solve these problems so if you have any questions uh, in this algorithm feel free to write to me uh, we will be pushing or we will be uploading more such videos in our uh, on our channel thank you have a nice day